Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and praise you. I pray for strength for the people today, boldness to do what is right every day of the week, of the week every, every month. And to be encouraged that Emmanuel is with them. Never forsake us or leave us, for he is the Spirit of God that came into human flesh and as well temporary in that physical body that he took and then went to the other half, the greater half of who he is, was Yahweh. And then came back on Pentecost with great celebration. We thank you, Yahweh, for all you do. And Yahushua, or El Shaddai, for all you do. In your holy name, amen. All right, we're going to be doing the, the um, Joel, the book of Joel, Yol, and in Hebrew, and it's um, Nenovim, meaning Nenovim, meaning a prophet. So the lesson is called Yol, Shema. Shema means hear. We must hear the things of God. Amen. Shema, hear. And we're going to go to the book of Joel, Joel. Chapter 1, 1 through 20 today for this lesson. And the word of Yahweh came to Yo, the son of, of Petuel. Here is this, your, your readers, listen all who live in the land. Has everything like this ever happened in your days or in your ancestors' days? Tell your children about it. And have them tell it to theirs. And them tell the next generations. What the cutter worm left and the, uh, the locusts ate. And what the locusts left and the grasshoppers ate. What the grasshoppers left and the shurums ate. Wake up, drunkards, and, and, and weep. Well, all, all of you who drink wine. Because the, the, the juice of the grapes will be withheld from your mouth. For the, the mighty and the numerous nations have invaded my land. As teeth are lions tear, the fangs of those of the lioness. He, he has reduced my vines and wasted my fig trees to splendor. Spenders. He pulled them bare, stripped their bark, and left their branches white. Lamentate, lamentate like a, a virgin wearing sackcloth. For the husband of her youth, rented offering and drink offerings are cut off. From the house of Yahweh, the Kohims. Bohemians, uh, priests, to the to the morning, and those who are serving Yahweh, and the fields are ruined, and the the ground is grieving, for the the grain is ruined, and the new wine dried up, and the olive oil is is rich, despaired, and farmers lamentate the vine dressers. Over the wheat and the barley, and, and the harvest have, from the field is lost, and the vines have withered, and the big trees withered. And also the pomegranates, the date palms, and the apple trees. And all the trees in the field have withered, and the people's joy has withered away. The Kohims, the priests, put on sackcloth and wheat. Well, in, in, in uh, service and at the altar. Come lie in the sackcloth all night long, you who serve my God. For the, the grain offerings and the drink offerings are withheld from the house of your God. Proclaim a holy fast. Call on the sum of similes. Gather the leaders for all who live in the land to the, the house of Yahweh your God. And cry out to Yahweh, 
Oh no, the day, the day of Yahweh is uh, upon us. And the destruction from this Shaddai, which is who Yeshua really is, Shaddai. It has come. And the food is cut off because of our very eyes. And also the joy and gladness from the house of our God. The seed gr uh, grain is rotten in foliage. And the grange of, of destruction of the barns are ruined. Because the grains have withered. And how, oh, how the animals groan. And, and the herds of cattle are complex because they have no pasture. And the flocks of the sheep hear and the, the punishment too. And Yahweh, I will cry out to you. For the fire has consumed the pastures in the desert. And the flames of blazing. And all the trees of the field. And even the wild animals come to you panting. Because of the, the stream beds have dried up. And the, the fires have consumed the pastures in the desert. God, God is showing us here that when the world does not repent, when the world thinks they can get worse and worse to each other, and the corruption of the leaders, the corruption the leaders of both in natural capacities and spiritual capacity when there's corruption everywhere the land languish like it does here and this is what's going on all around the world right now because people just have the pride of life and they just can't come to God and say God help us help us help us like he asked us to do and in, in this verse it, it tells us to pray to him the intercede for what is going on. But when the people of God get duped and not praying, and the people and that from all walks of life keep getting worse, then there's no healing that can come until the people humble themselves and say, God, we need you. We need you. We need you. Our, our politicians are corrupt. The, the land itself is corrupt with all the chemicals in it. And the sky is corrupt with all the things in it. And all the things. And this is about crying out and hearing God's will for your life. Are we going to hear God's will today for our life? And pray for our, our brothers and sisters. They're in much pain as we are. Praying for the corruption to stop on all sides and leadership roles on this earth. When you pray and you hear the hear God's heart for you as individuals, but also corporately as, as brothers and sisters across this land, across all the nations, across the water to other nations, when we hear and when we repent and when we try to do what is right and, and accomplish what God has for us, then things turn around for better. So let us be people that hear of what we need to hear God say to our hearts and our minds today, every day. Amen. So Father, I pray over what was read today. I pray that for for your for for great to come out of us today as we hear your will you know who the will is Yeshua Jesus, Yeshua or El Shaddai it's that will that we need so we can know God's ways every day, amen God knows being in this physical reality is hard and, and he always has provisions for that Remember, you're a spiritual being living in a physical body, given a chance to prove yourself, to, to harness your talents that God has given you since you were birthed into this world to now. And all these things, remember, hear, 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 and listen for, for God's will of your life. Amen. Shema, hear.
listen, and go forth and, and be encouraged today. Because the world is just as much bad as, as what we read in, in this chapter of Joel. But we must not be in despair when we read something in the Word and, we, and it compares. We must hear and we must listen to God's heart beat and what we need to be in our niche, in our place, and come together in one accord. Be united. We stand. Divided, we fall. Remember that. Because that's an ancient principle that didn't start with the foundation of this country called America, the United States, because the people are united in their state of fact, of mind statement for freedom and for goodwill to all men and women alike. And capital A, because that's what the definition of this country is called, America. Little U, little S, has never been capitalized. Are all capital letters? No. That becomes a corporation. And, we're, and this country is not supposed to be a corporation. It's supposed to be a country of free men and women of sovereignty that each of you are in value. And every, every country that listens to this, you have value. God has given it to you. You need to hear and go forth. God whispers in our in our hearts, in our minds, and it's softly. Sometimes it's not when it's time of corrections. But he loves us, and he's a father. Let us hear in our hearts today the direction he wants all of us to do. Amen. I'd like to pray for those that have never given a commitment exactly. And it, it's not all fancy, dancy stuff. It's real simple. Just tell God in your heart you want him. That you, you, you do your best, do your part, even though you might fail. God knows you're going to fail. It's not shocking to the father of all fathers that you're going to fall. You're going to have a day that's not so good. You live in this flesh, you're going to have problems. God knows it. He knows every little detail of your life. He made you. He loves you. And he's not going to sit there and broadbeat you when you have a bad day. Or you have a, a, an insignificant day. Or you have a day where you just feel sad. God feels with you. And he's with you. And he's going to help you. And even if you grow slowly to God, that's growth. Whether it be fast or slow, it's still growing. Even if it's just a half a step, you're still doing something. See, it's those that don't do nothing. Those are the people that are hurting the most. Because God says, try to do something with your life. Even if it's a half of a step, God is with you. God will help you get the rest of that step of walking. And pretty soon you, you're going to be looking back and say, wow, what a faithful God. He is he's shaping me into that beautiful man or woman that God sees you as, even though you're not. But God says you are. So what are you going to, what report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe that, that other report of Satan whispering here, saying you're nothing? Or are you going to believe the report that I am something because God made you and he took his time up to make your living soul that came into that mother's womb? So he, you are something because he took time to make you one way or another. So you remember that every time you have a hard day, you hit harder, you get up and you remember that some of the famous coaches of the past of football and and, and coaches of, of baseball and how they had to be hard and give that info, very uh, powerful speech. How that is what God's doing to you, to your heart. Listen to it. The great gipper of all gippers is, is, is trying to grab a hold of you today. The great coach of all coaches, God himself, greatest coach of all time, is trying to say to you, it's time to see yourself as a whole person again. Not a half a person, 
And many of you have become. God says it's time to be whole again. It's time to get healed again. It's time to, 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 to reap and sow good things again. God loves you. And you have to cry a little bit of tears of joy right now as a man or woman would do it. Because God is, that it's a healing. God is cleansing you, making you brand new again. Now, go forth in faith on these things. Because sometimes this is greater than who we are as a human. But sometimes we just got to trust in the great, great God above that loves us, the Father and His Spirit. It's the Savior of this world and always will be. He always be saving you from things in life. Amen. If you trust him. Sometimes things are hit and miss because the life we live is, is so excruciating. But God makes a way there's no way when those times happen too. Amen. And it's a learning experience. We get stronger. We become courageous. Every athlete that makes a mistake they don't stop. They improve on themselves and they make themselves better. So the next time they learn from the mistake of the other team of how they buffle them into making that big blunder that they didn't get that touchdown. They didn't throw the ball to the right person or, or hit the bat with the ball and baseball and inside it to, to get a one way out there so they can get to second base so the next guy that they know for sure can knock it out of the ballpark, no matter who is pitching, and he's having a good day. Sometimes we have to work together, and we, and we glean from one another, and we become better for it, just like in baseball. Sometimes we, we can always be focused on the on the home run when we need to be focused on something else. Because the more men that are out there and women that, that are on those bases and then you get the, the, the one that is going to knock that thing silly and you're going to get a grand slam and you're going to win the game. Sometimes you get a home run and sometimes it's your part is to get get a good slicer out there that the outfield cannot catch. Remember that. There's times and places for everything. But remember you're still a winner no matter what season or what time of place. But remember we at the end of the day, it's when we unite, we win. And when we divide, we fall. God, God has made that fellowship among men and women for a reason. So we can glean and, and become powerful beings, spiritual beings that are physically in a physical revocation of learning. Remember, you're, you're a spiritual being on a journey in a physical realm that God has given you a chance to prove yourself. Amen. And that's what it is. Mankind is is spiritual before they are carnal natured. And see, the carnal nature takes over, and that is just that is just the equipment that God has given us. You yourself in the inside, that is the real you, and you need to take possession of the rest of who you are on the outside. So, Father, I, I, I pray is is this the, as I pray this prayer, and I pray this prayer right now, and it's just a commitment prayer, saying, "God, I'm here. I love you. I want you." So, just say, "Dear God, yeah, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Savior and Majesty of my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Welcome." There's no such thing as, as some people being children of God and not. There's this children of a God that are not saved. And there's children of God that are saved. That accept that salvation. It's not some mystical thing. God wants to save everybody. He wants to help everybody. You know, help them. And now everybody on this planet is children of God. Created 
in the image and likeness of what he, he wanted them to be. So don't you get huffy about things. Remember there's brothers and sisters in a war of hell that we need to rescue, that we need to pray for, we need to intercede for. Remember that. We're in a war, spiritual war that, that, that manifests in this natural. Remember what that's all it is. And we must pray for our brothers and sisters across this land, across every nation. We're all brothers and sisters, for we are created in the same line of family as Adam and Eve. We're all come from there. The same with the Shalom prayer. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. What is it brings peace to pass is all understanding, none and severed, none and broken, complete peace. I leave you with through the Prince of Peace, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, our El Shaddai. Amen. Yahweh's will it is with us. Amen. Great peace go with you today as you go forth in these things. Amen. God bless. Keep Keep saying yes. Keep those no's limited only when they need to be. Amen. God bless.